Hi there, Dave Levine here. Thanks for joining me today for today's Sports Story Snapshot. Uh, I'm a leadership coach uh, and also the host of the Sports Stories podcast. Uh, it's really great to have you with me and what I'm doing here is just sharing a few snapshots and delving a little bit deeper into a few concepts and ideas which I believe are really purposeful and can help you in your role as a helper, a developer of others, a coach and more purposefully even a leader. Today's snapshot theme has been a tricky one for me to come to today because uh, I've been torn between the, the words of transparency but also uh, silence. Uh, and I've, I've gone with the, the theme of silence today because if you haven't recognised or noticed, um, I've not put out a, a sports story snapshot over the last couple of days because I've just left the space to be silent. Um, and why I've done that is because I felt it really important for both myself to reflect and just to consider what's going on in my world as a, as a leader, but as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a parent, uh, and as also as a, a family member and a son. Uh, and I want to put to you to start with two ideas, one being how it is in terms of how do you create silence and being silent and what it means for you, um, and also how do you um, deal with it yourself. So first of all, I just want to put to you a little activity here and just sit with the idea of being silent for say 10 seconds or so and see how it feels. So just see how it feels and reflect on this. So there we have it, sort of 10 seconds or so. What does it do to you? How did you feel? Did you feel comfortable with the idea of nobody filling the space? Did it feel a little bit silly? Okay, did words come into your mind, some self-talk? Did you reflect and go a little bit deeper? I've noticed in myself I've slowed down a little bit. Okay, so it's really powerful being with silence. Okay, but it's also really quite difficult for many people. So I'm challenging you to think about how it is for you. You know, can you feel comfortable and really value it? Um, but also how it might feel for others who often feel like they need to fill the space or don't like it. N nobody talking, for instance, because it feels a little bit weird or a bit strange or nothing's going on and it's a bit boring maybe even. But it's a really interesting principle. For me, what I propose here is the idea that it gives us some space. Okay, It might be uncomfortable, but in terms of development, it allows us to think, it allows us to come up with ideas, it might allows us to reflect or it even might allow us to slow down. And it's something I use really purposefully and importantly to try and hold that because sometimes by filling the space, we deny opportunities for ourselves, but also others, more importantly, to learn and develop. So I want to challenge you to try and practice being with silence a little bit more. And if you take the letters of the word silent and you shuffle them around, see what you come out with, okay? And what might it therefore guide you to have to do, okay? And therefore by being silent, you might need to do something, all right? So shuffle those letters around uh, and let me know what you come up with. It's a really great uh, little, uh, thing to be aware of actually, a real key message in there. And I guess the other side of it is for me is around actually how do you create silence, okay? And the power of that in terms of actually the questions you ask and the space and the environment that you create uh, and support people who might feel it's quite difficult, but also those who enjoy it and value it is how do you kind of celebrate the idea of being silent? And a little story for me is I was talking to a colleague of mine the other day who's, um, who's got some friends who were sharing a story with me about who have been um, criticised for not contributing in meetings and, in, and in, in environments where people are talking and actually seeing them as being less effective or shy um, felt really quite harsh actually and actually really devalued the fact that some people really value the silence and get a lot of value from it and actually don't feel the need to have to fill the space and talk all the time. Um, and I think it's really worth getting the right balance here that being silent or sometimes not speaking and choosing not to speak because I don't have anything to say or I need time to reflect is actually also a real positive attribute and skill as a, as a coach, as a leader and as a developer of others. And, and, and I class as a developer of others being a parent because I think it's really important sometimes to leave the space to lead and allow those around us to fill it and to contribute into it. Okay, so a really simple word, okay, but it's hugely powerful in my mind. And I'd like you to really to, to play with it and see if you can maximize how you use silence, both in creating it for others 
and using the space to allow others to be silent, but also how you manage it within you and embrace that opportunity to maybe reflect. And if it does feel uncomfortable, how do you embrace that as well? Um, and enjoy it and notice the, uh, the inner, inner dialogue and the self-talk that might come out because I think that's also really powerful, both positively and maybe less so. Okay, um, as always, please engage. Let us know how you get on. It would be great to hear from you. Drop us a note either through some of the social media channels or on the uh, Sports Stories website, which is www.sportsstories247.com. Uh, and it'd be great to have you join me for future Sports Story snapshots. Uh, Transparency is coming up pretty soon, as I mentioned at the beginning. It's one word that's really in the back of my mind and really crucial for the work we're doing. Um, and I hope you haven't missed the, uh, the snapshots over the last couple of days. Um, the silence was really important. Go and enjoy, and I look forward to you joining me again pretty soon. Take care, and bye for now.